Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with a sneak peek unboxing of one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. Thanks, Diamond Art Club, for sending this over. And hopefully this helps you guys decide if this one should be on your shopping list for the weekend. It's so, 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 so cute, you guys. This one is called huckleberry fairy <laughs> i can't get over how cute that is this is by hannah lynn and uh has square shaped drills which actually this is a little bit unique i feel like most of diamond art clubs um hannah lynn kits have round diamonds so that's kind of fun and then it's going to be 20 by 28 uh, inches or 50.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeters which is a really really great size point not too big it's honestly that 50 ish by 70 ish is the, the size point that I like to work in as well. So anyway, this kit along with the other new releases, by the way, are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, October 6th. We're in October uh, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the general release time. Now, if you're in the diamond or ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get an early access window and you usually get a text or email between half an hour and 45 minutes before the general release time. So just keep an eye out for those because Sometimes kits will sell out during that early release, but then they always hold plenty back for the general release as well. So don't fret if you miss out <laughs> during the early release. But anyway, back to this kit. Uh, Diamond Art Club has some blue branding here that they use with their square drill kits. The round drill ones have pink. And then on the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint. I've got a beginner video I'll link for you guys as well uh, that I did. And then our kit contents. And then here on the side, there's a QR code you can scan for a 10% off discount code. If you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase, uh, I actually also have, I cannot seem to find this spot to cut this open. I'm having a klutz moment. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Where are you? I don't wanna hurt the box. Hold on, let me try the other side. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. If you are brand new to Diamond Art Club, and thinking of making your very first purchase, I have a 20% off code that you're welcome to use. That's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Now that is an affiliate code, like I mentioned. Uh, so please don't feel obligated. And I also try to really make sure that my unboxings and reviews are really neutral and unbiased, even if I am an affiliate. Um, but thank you in advance if you do happen to use that code. That always goes straight back into my channel. So let us open this up and take a look. Okay. We got our toolkit and our sticker. And our diamond painting. Okay. So first, got a little crunched there. Let's take a look at the toolkit. So there's a bunch of basic uh, diamond painting tools included in here. Everything you need to do your diamond painting. I've completed diamond paintings using only what comes in the toolkit before. It is totally doable. <laughs> that magnet sticking to those tweezers. Okay. All right, everybody, relax. <laughs> this tool's going everywhere. Okay, so you're gonna get a pen and squishy. They don't always match, but they have been lately. The color will vary on those. You also got a couple of thin plastic multi-placers that you can pop in the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we've also got some pink heart wax in this little caddy here. There's a couple of the waxes in here. Uh, there's a thin plastic film on there. You wanna make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen. We've got a bag of baggies that you can use to store your leftover diamonds in. And then we've got a tray. This is a tray stopper that uh, helps prevent the diamonds from sliding out there. We've also got a pair of tweezers which come with Diamond Art Club's kits with square shaped diamonds. They are quite sharp, so do keep that cover on. And then this is a roll of washi tape. The print on these will vary but this one happens to kind of match this kit, which is really cute. I have a video dedicated to how, why <laughs> to use your washi tape. Um, so I'll link to that below if you're curious. And then we do have a cover binder. So these have magnets on the back and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover of your diamond painting. The style on those is gonna vary as well. So there is your basic toolkit. And then Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller logbook sticker. I like that it has the original artwork and some of the stats there. I put this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit, or you can use it on the side of your box to help organize your stash a little bit more efficiently, or you can find something crafty to do with it. Everything else is gonna be here in the plastic dust cover. And we're gonna unroll this and take a look. So, 
cute. Look at those purples and pinks. It's so happy. Oh my gosh. And the little bear. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's adorable. All right, so we do have our bag of diamonds here. We will look at those in just a little bit. Uh, Diamond Art Club does include this pamphlet here with some helpful info, including there's a thank you note on the front, what's included in your kit, a beginner video that they have done, a link to the VIP Facebook group, which is a nice resource to join once you made your first purchase, some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, some tips and tricks written out for you, another discount code, and then uh, QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app, which is you know handy if that's your thing <laughs> and then we have a larger sticker sheet there's the title huckleberry fairy by hannah lynn a spot right your certain end date and there's a better look at that original artwork so 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 cute so here's the stats and the skew over here we have a set of pre-cut stickers and the color codes you see over here this comes from the dmc color code system which is from the DMC brand of floss and most diamond painting companies do use that color code system. And then if you take a look though, both at the end and the beginning. So at the end here, sometimes you will see some colors that have numbers behind them. So we have L and then we have three numbers that have Z's. And so those are gonna be two different kinds of special drill types that Diamond Art Club carries. I believe that L is gonna be an iridescent color, which is kind of like a crystal. And then Z is a fairy dust. And then at the beginning, anything under the number 150 is gonna be another kind of special diamond called an AB. And I will explain all about those once we're actually looking at the diamonds. It'll make more sense when you've got it in front of you. <laughs> so here's the canvas. You will sometimes see it rolling. Uh, don't, mind my, don't mind my cat losing his ever loving mind. Okay, so you will sometimes see it curling like that. All you have to do is, if you're new and you haven't seen this before, roll it backwards the opposite direction and that will help it lay flat. Also, Diamond Art Close canvases do have a self-flattening feature, so you can also just give it a little time and it will lay flat on its own. Now, let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. So up here at the top, we have their branding. Do it made you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and poked. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. The back of the canvas is this really plush and soft material, and the, the canvas itself is nice and thick and just nice to work on. Um, and then Diamond Art Club does use a poured glue on their canvas, it's quite sticky. And also is really nice to work on, especially on this canvas. And then we have a color list up here at the top left, as well as over here at the bottom right. <clears throat> now at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail of the original artwork along with the title and the size. And then this is really important, copyright Hannah Lynn slash Diamond Art Club. So, um, this is important because what this indicates is that this piece has been legally licensed from the artist. That means that Hannah Lynn has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. So Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork and I'm always about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. And then down here we've got their socials and yet another discount code. <laughs> and then here's info on their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of any diamonds or have any trouble with the canvas or the glue, anything at all, contact their customer support and we'll get you taken care of. Now, Diamond Art Club has released a lot of Hannah Lynn kits in the past. It renders and looks really beautiful with Diamond Art Club's rendering style, which is some really gorgeous, clean and crisp lines. And um, this looks like it's gonna be no exception. This looks so cute. Look at the little bear face. Oh my gosh. Now, uh, you will see that this kit does have a mix of some color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is in areas like this where we have lots of the same color here, where you can use a multi-blazer and have that color in your tray for a while. So those tend to go a bit faster. Of course, we're also gonna have some confetti, which Really the good examples I feel like were in the branches and leaves. So give me just a moment and I'll show you a better example. Maybe maybe kind of in here. Uh, there's more color changes in a small area. You'll be doing a little bit more in the way of some like single placing and changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often. So I do like a mix of both of my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. This looks really cute. <laughs> and uh, Hannah Lynn does a lot of like black black outlining and black lines. And so I'm sure we'll have a lot of that 310 color in our diamonds, which we'll look at those together in, in just a bit. But first let's do a measurement here. Diamond Art Club's canvases usually run 
true to size, which what they advertise is what the, the dimensions of the actual drill field should be, not the whole canvas. Uh, but we're at 70 and a half centimeters ish and we're listed as 70.7 and then let's see uh, almost 51 centimeters and we're listed as 50.8 i'm gonna call that true to size and looks good so oh my gosh she's so cute all right so here are the diamonds let's take a look at these now there's a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas let's take a look All right, so there's our color spread. I love how there's like a black outline. <laughs> so let's take a look. We're gonna start off with a little bag of green here, but then we're gonna get right into our 310, which is just black. Let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of 310 <laughs> for all that outlining. So you can see how sparkly that is. Looks good. And then we've got a nice mix of colors. <laughs> Diamond Arc Club does manufacture all their diamonds in house, their squares and their rounds. And they print the DMC code on the bags here for you to see, which is handy. Oh, you guys, here's our first special drill color. This is Z327. So this is a fairy dust color. Um, which, oh, it's so subtle. At first I was looking, you guys, and I was like, I don't know that I see the fairy dust coating. Let me zoom you in and see if it gets more obvious here. Okay, so if you look, I'm trying to mix this up so you can see some of the right side up here because I'm seeing like a lot of diamond backs here. Okay, so if you look, it's really subtle. It's real, that's, that's more subtle than I'm used to seeing from fairy dust colors actually. Um, but I see it, I see a glitter coating. I don't know if you can kind of see it too. It's really faint, but it's just there. I feel like most of the fairy dust colors I see, I see on the slightly more faceted diamonds. These look a little bit less faceted to me, but I see the fairy dust coating there. It's kind of like a really subtle glitter. So yeah, very subtle. Okay, let's zoom you back out. Then we end off with these dark blues. And then, here we go. Here is another fairy dust color. And this one I can tell a little bit more easily. I can see that glitter coating. Okay. Yeah, so this one you can see more. It's a lime green fairy dust. You can see there is a lightly brushed glitter coating. I mean, they are very subtle for sure. Um, but they're actually my favorite kind of special drill, fairy dust star. So pretty. Bring you back. Oops. All right. Lots of fun colors in here. And then here we have our first AB color, 136. This is a really, really striking blue AB. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift effect, uh, that's that's what gives, gives these uh, diamond types their name, uh, AB. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words there. Okay, but I love this blue AB. You can see that that extra coating on the top is really bold, really striking, uh, much more much more so than those fairy dust colors were. But I love both. I need both in my life. But here's another AB, 119. And we have just these two AB colors in here. And then we have lots more shades of purple and some pinks and greens some blues and greens and then 57 colors this is a colorful kit <laughs> which given like all the pinks and purples in her hair even like the different colors in her eyes like it's it's not surprising to me that we have a, a lot of colors going on here and then we've got oh okay so there was a little it looks like a little mishap with the machine here um, I may be full on missing a color. I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna have to ask them about this. This happens from time to time. 
Uh, Diamond Art Club will fix this uh, since, you know, they, they sent this over. I'm sure they will. I cannot tell. I think that might all be one color and I might just be missing a color entirely. So I'll send a picture over to them and see if they can send me out some replacements. But you know what? This is unfiltered. You guys do get to see. Mistakes happen. <laughs> and then here we have, you guys, this is our crystal color L783. And Diamond Art Club calls these iridescent diamonds. And they have a mirrored backing on them to help that crystally effect, a kind of glassy effect, really come through beautifully. Looks like we have just have a tiny amount of these. I wonder where those are going to go. We will take a look together once we're done going through all these diamond colors, though. <clears throat> then this last strand. Oh, here's our third and final fairy dust color. This is a really light gray. And again, you can see that glitter coating on the top there. Really pretty. This is a nice, a nice, like kind of bigger bag of these too. So comparatively, so we'll take a look and see where those are going to go. So anyway, got some more browns and purples in here. Ending it off with another pink and brown. So let's take a look and find out where these fairy dust colors and ABs and crystal iridescent are going to go. Uh, so we had, let's see, we had the light kind of orangish beige iridescent color. We had a purple fairy dust, a lime green fairy dust, and a light gray fairy dust. And then we had a blue AB and a purple AB. So lots to keep an eye out for. We're going to start at the bottom and see what we find. Right off the bat, the lightest colors in the berries, the check mark symbol, that is our purple fairy dust color. And that's just gonna give the, the berries a bit of a highlight, which is gonna be, I think that's gonna be pretty. And then, yeah, it's kind of all through some of these berries, including these up here. And then let's see in her fairy wings, you guys, I have to imagine there's a lot of special drills in here. Let's take a look. Uh, so I do see the blue AB is, I guess we have the blue AB here. And then, ooh, you guys, I did overlook this. I completely overlooked this in the leaves. Hold on, I'll go back to it. But we do have the blue AB throughout uh, her wing over here, as well as uh, the hashtag or number, <laughs> depending on what generation you are, the hashtag or the pound sign. Uh, that's our light gray fairy dust color. Ooh, that's gonna be a really pretty outline around her wings here. And then it's the number four. We didn't have four ABs. No, we just had two. Okay, I just want to double check. Okay, so that's what's going on in her wings. Now, let me bring bring you back down to these these berry bushes really quick. Okay, so this symbol, little like bow tie. <laughs> Do you name your symbols? This is the lime green fairy dust color, and that is all through. It's the lightest parts of the bush and the leaves, and it's over on this side as well. So we've got the purple and the lime green fairy dust going on kind of in these bushes here and here as well. Okay. And then the centers of the bear's eyes are the light gray fairy dust color. And okay, so the center of our fairy's eyes are the light gray fairy dust color and the iridescent color, which was that nice pale topaz kind of color is in her eyes as well. It's the lightest yellow beige you're seeing. And over in this fairy wing, we again have the blue AB, which is the number two. We have the pound sign, which is the gray fairy dust. And I keep wondering, oh, I see. I was gonna say, did I miss the purple AB? Because I haven't seen it yet. No, I see it, but we'll get to it. Okay, and then back here on these tree trunks, this gray, that's all fairy dust. That's really pretty, okay. And then the bushes, nothing up there. And then her hair, uh, the purple check mark, that's the purple fairy dust color. So we have it doing some highlighting in her hair. And then the berries in her hair, 
don't really have any special drills in them, except for there's like a little bit right here. The purple check mark, that's the purple fairy dust. And then we get over into this part, like her swoop bang, <laughs> the number one, that's where our purple AB is that we haven't seen yet. The number two, we have the blue AB here as well. And then we have the purple, the white check mark on a purple background, tons of that purple fairy dust color in here. Yeah, so her hair is going to be like the center of attention as far as those special drills go. Again, in this top part, we have some of the purple check mark all throughout here, giving it a nice highlighted effect as well. So I think that about covers it. I'm trying to see. I hope I didn't miss any, but I hope you'll forgive me if I have. But that those special drill placements look look really nice. I like that we see a lot of it in her hair and in her wings, especially. So anyway, this is the absolutely beautiful and adorable. I just this bear I cannot get over. It's so stinking cute. This is Huckleberry Fairy and it's by Hannah Lynn. And um, I know that there's a ton of Hannah Lynn fan, fans with Diamond Art Club that just I, I honestly I can't believe that they're still finding Hannah Lynn pieces that they haven't released yet. But it turns out so beautifully. I'm not shocked that they keep like putting these out. Um, if you haven't tried a Hannah Lynn kit, you really should. I did one for, I think, Drills and Chills last year or the year before, and it was so fun. And it actually went pretty quickly because there is a lot of color blocking, and it's really fun to like fill in the black outlines and whatnot. So anyway, this kit uh, is going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, October 7th, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to set your alarms because we don't know if these kits are going to be discontinued once they sell out. That kind of just happens behind the scenes with Diamond Art Club at some point. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you done a Hannah Lynn kit from Diamond Art Club before? And what do you think of this one? The colors, especially in her hair and her wings, are very much my style. The pretty pinks and purples. And I have a feeling that completed, this is going to look really, really, really good just with Diamond Art Club's hand-charted rendering style. So let me know what's on your shopping list for the weekend. Be sure that you take a peek at the other sneak peeks that my fellow fabulous content creators have put out this week. And happy shopping this weekend. By the way, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content. I'd love to have you here. And otherwise, though, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a day and a weekend that is as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.